You expressed faith in Jesus Christ. You asked for forgiveness. You counted the cost. And rising from the waters of baptism, you became a new creation in Christ. Hands were laid on you. You received the Holy Spirit, empowering you to living a life of love and of sacrifice and grace and truth. And you are now being formed until Jesus returns by the power of the Holy Spirit working in us. So as a child of God, you together with fellow believers cherish God's good work among us until Jesus Christ returns. So every year in the season it was implemented together with fellow believers, we participate as a powerful reminder in the symbols that allowed our redemption, the proclamation of who Jesus is, what he's done, and what lies yet in the future. So this year on April the 7th, just after sunset, brothers and sisters in Christ like you will gather to again celebrate, proclaim, and cherish what Jesus Christ did, focusing on the meaning of his suffering, of his death by crucifixion, on his entombment for three days and three nights, on his resurrection, his ascension, and his promise to return again. Remember at the Lord's Supper, Jesus said, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. And so we look forward to the absolute consummation, the hope of glory that God promises us. So on behalf of the Church of God's Seventh Day around the world, it is our prayer that you may experience a sense of meaning and a, an extraordinary refocus on the oneness we share in Christ and the hope of glory that awaits beyond this physical life. So on behalf of the International Ministerial Congress, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm your brother, John Classic.